Hey dolls! So today I'm going to be unboxing Kawaii box for you guys. I think this is the October or November box. Not 100% sure, but I got it in the mail today. If you want to get your own, uh, click the link down below. And I think maybe I'm doing a giveaway for one of these. If I am, follow the first link in the description. If not, my apologies, but anyway, yes, we're gonna go ahead and open this up now. This is a true unboxing. I have not peeked at this other than just this front part right here. I just opened it ahead of time, but here we go. This is what the packaging looks like. Hot pink graphics, very cute. I love this little castle in here. So, so cute. Okay, so. This is the November box, so it is November 2018, Thanksgiving Parade, and look at this adorable little illustration on here, and this is something new that they've been doing, or that they have started to do. Thank you for being part of the Kawaii Box community, and they have been printing people's photos with their Kawaii Box on the back of the pamphlet, which is a really, really cute concept, however... I do not see any credit given to any of these wonderful people. I do not see their usernames anywhere on here unless they are inside, which they are not. Um, I just flipped inside because I didn't want to like see what the items were in the box. But yeah, that, that sucks. Like, I would want my name, not just my face, but I'd want my username to be shown. So if someone was interested in like, this person's nails, like this person's manicure is so beautiful and I wanna go check out her feed. But guess what? I can't because they didn't include the username anywhere. So that really sucks. So Box, please credit your, your subscribers, your people. Please do that because they deserve it. So I've heard that Kawaii Box is better than it used to be. That they've included a lot more Sanrio characters and maybe some squishies here and there. And they wanted to send me one of their new revamped boxes that they've done. And so let's see. I was getting kind of bored with Kawaii Box. I'll be honest because at first they started introducing like Hello Kitty and Rila Kuma and all these super cute characters that I was so familiar with and that I loved. And then they just kind of started taking them away. So I am really glad that they supposedly have revamped it and they're putting more effort into the boxes. So here we go. The tissue paper is adorable. I love the print on it, of course. And we have, this is actually really cute. Okay, okay, all right. All right, we have a 2019 calendar has a little kitty on there. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. See what kind of calendar it is. If it is, oh, it's like a little desktop calendar kind of, I think. Yes, because this part right here, you can fold out so it can stand. So it is just a little flip through desk calendar. Does it have the same picture of the cat every time? Yeah, it's like every other month or so. So, okay, I guess there is a little bit of I just kind of wish that this was maybe a different character and that there was a different picture on each page so that you wouldn't have to look at the exact same thing for a whole year. But it is cute. I do like the little gold spiral right here and it is cute to have this little desk accent. But I don't know, not my favorite thing in the box. I think it's nice that they included this though. Uh, however, I think it would have been better to include something like this in like the January box because it's a calendar for the next year. Uh, I think including a calendar in like November is a little too soon for like the new year type thing. Uh, but I don't know, it's pretty cute. Okay, moving on. We have some super cute little kitty stickers that look like so. These are cute. Are these like San X? Koro Koro Koranyan. Koranyan. Oh my gosh, I cannot pronounce it. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for my characters I was promised, okay? I'm getting impatient. Okay, then we have a little, okay, that's good. I see something. That's good. Okay. We're getting to the character. We're getting to the good stuff. Hold on. So there is this little um, folder letter set. 
So it does come with a little folder as well, but it has like little memo sheets on it that have this cute little kitty on there. It says cat's room, which I'm not really a fan of that too much. I kind of wish it just didn't say anything or it said like notes or to do or something cute, but there is that. Okay. Now we're on to the good stuff. Well, some of the good stuff. Look at this precious little baby. This is one of the new Sanrio characters. I have absolutely none of this merch yet, so this makes me very, very excited. So this is a little coin purse, and this is their new character. This is his name. I'm gonna try to give it my best shot here, okay. Maru Mofu Biori? Maru Mufu Biori. That's, that's what I think it is, but I could be totally mistaken. But look how cute he is. With a little blanket over his head and his little belly button. This is so soft and so cute. So yes, this is definitely the best thing in the box so far, in my opinion. Then we have this adorable little cinema roll, like Tsum Tsum style plushie. I actually already have the My Melody one, so I'm glad that I got the, uh, the cinema roll one. I think this varies per box. Like, I think you get a different character in each box. Sanrio character Sakura plushie. So yeah, it shows on here that, um, it shows a My Melody one, so I think you can get the different characters. I have a My Melody style one of these, so I'm glad that I got Cinema Roll instead. But look at how cute! The little tail and the little feet. Very cute. And then the little Sakura cherry blossoms right there. Very cute. I love this. I don't know why I thought it would be scented. It's not, <laughs> but it's very cute and soft. Okay, oh! Oh, these are, this is an eraser set. I kind of don't even want to open this because it's so cute. But it has Molang. How cute is this? I really actually like this. I, I won't get any use out of this whatsoever because I don't use pencils. But this is so cute. And to just like hang it on the wall like that and to have as like a decoration piece is so cute. I might just gift it to one of my friends though. Next we have some kind of random things in here. This says frame coin purse. And you can get different characters with this as you can see on the back. The one I got are these two little dancing kitties and it says dance dance and it is this beautiful powder blue shade and it is one of those coin purses that kind of have the two knobs at the top and you separate and then it just opens up like hinged and it is so cute. I will probably gift this away as well. And then we have this little memo sheet that says memo it and I don't, I'm not familiar with this character but it just said, oh it's Hello Jane. But it says memo it and it's just this little girl and you can write little memo notes on her. Very cute. I like how she has a little blank shirt because then you can like write whatever on it. That's cute. There we go. And then we have this little pen or pencil. Is this a pen or pencil? This is a pen. Oh yeah, it is black ink. And it's just like a little sushi rice or something. It just looks like a little sushi. It doesn't have a face or anything, but it's cute. It's pretty plain, so I don't know. I'm not too thrilled about this, but eh, it's all right. It actually looks really good, but there you can see Guretama on the packaging. Guretama is super cute, but it's not like one of my favorite sought out Sanrio characters. His butt's cute, but I'm not really a huge fan. Okay, we're going to open this and try it. I'm not a fan of white chocolate, but it has milk chocolate on the bottom too, it looks like. Mm. If you like white chocolate, this is really good. But me, I prefer dark chocolate or even milk chocolate over white chocolate. So this isn't my favorite, but pretty good. So for me personally, there were three recognizable character items in this box. Um, do I feel like this is a step up from past boxes that I've received? 
I would say yes, just because this new character is included, which there's not a lot of merch of him just yet as far as I know because he is a newer character. The little cinnamon roll plush is so, so cute. So I do like that. Um, I feel like there could have been more variety though. Like we got two coin purses. I feel like one of these could be exchanged for like a sleep mask or like, I don't know, something else other than another coin purse. I just feel like we didn't necessarily need two of those. Uh, we got two memo sheets as well. I don't feel like we necessarily needed two memo sheets. We maybe could have had one and then maybe a sticker set, a different kind of sticker set. I feel like there could have been a little bit more variety. Uh, Kawaii Blocks has always included stationery of some sort or a pen or cute things like that. Just little knickknacks here and there. And I do feel like these are really cute. However, I'm very picky and I was missing more characters. These little kitties are really cute though, so I think I'm probably definitely going to use these. Oh my gosh, this little one eating a donut is like the most precious thing ever. Why is that me? But yeah, there were actually 10 items in this box, which is really cool. I think it used to be like eight to ten items. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, again, it's been a while since I've gotten a Kawaii box, but I do really like this one. I feel that there were quite a few items that I could really connect with and enjoy and use, um, but a few of them, like I said, I will be gifting to friends or family. So thank you Kawaii Box for sending me this Kawaii Box to do an unboxing and review. Um, I want to see more characters, more familiar characters. Now again, that could just be me. I could just be very picky with this, but I, I like my Sanrio and San X characters and I would like to see more of them. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of the box down below. Did you share the same opinions as me? Do you have different opinions? Do you absolutely love everything that was in here? Or do you think it needs a little bit of improving? What would you have changed? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. And overall, I would probably rate this box a 7 or 8 out of 10. I feel like they could do a little bit better, but they've gotten better than the boxes in the past. That is for sure. So, I will talk to you all in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you all soon. So, until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Alright, bye! I'm gonna eat the rest of this candy bar, though.